to work now and look at who's here. Look at who showed up right outside my work. What are the odds, right? You got the fire department there. So they're showing up at my workplace and this is to send a message. This is to send a message to me. And here they go, yeah, fake call, right? Yeah, yeah, fake call. And they weren't attending to anything. They know that I'm working in this building. So they showed up here for this fake call. Uh, don't talk to me, dude. Don't don't wave your hand at me. Don't talk to me. You're a stalker. You're a stalker. So don't talk to me. I said you're a stalker. Don't talk to me. And I like the Freemason checkerboard there. That's a nice checkerboard. Symbolism, right? 33? 33? Okay. I said 33. 33. 33 yeah. yeah, it's the checkerboard. Freemasonry. 33. Oh. That's their number. You yeah, know what it is. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Masons in the fire department, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Fair enough. At least you're honest. My, uh, my... Old district chief was yeah. a Grand Mason. Oh, cool. And he's cool. here in Toronto. Interesting, interesting. Because yeah. I, I got to tell you, you might not like to hear this, but I feel that I'm being stalked by the fire departments. Oh, yeah? It's, yeah, like everywhere I go. It's weird. I can show you videos. I have videos. Every, I'm not. You might not like to hear this, but I feel that I'm being stalked by the fire departments. Oh yeah? Yeah, like everywhere I go, it's weird. I can show you videos, I have videos. Every, I'm not every, I'm not saying you're doing that it's now. Just a, it's just okay, a it's going, no, coincidence, you're, because oh, same thing, on, I dude, live in come Toronto, on. and everywhere I go, and I'm on the job, I'm like, no, fire truck? Buddy, Always come on, it's, okay, I'll tell you, I'm going home and I don't need three people surrounding me either. Uh, I'm just talking yeah. to you, right? I don't need a whole group here. All right, anyway, we'll end the conversation there. It's good, good. No, no problem. Take care, guys. You take care. Okay. So yesterday, as you can see in the video, I had uh, the fire department show up at my workplace again for some uh, some stalking. Uh, and it's interesting. I was able to have a brief conversation with one of these uh, people. And when I brought up uh, the fact that there were a lot of Masons in the fire department. He just confirmed it. He said, yeah. And he said uh, his boss had been uh, a uh, grand or whatever, a uh, master Mason uh, in Toronto. So, I mean, yeah, just, just confirmation. You know, they got the checkerboards on the vehicles. Um, but, uh, yeah. So... But of course, when you bring up the stalking, then they just stonewall you, you know, they pretend. I mean, they just, it's laughable that they still lie and say they're not doing that. But yeah, they just, they just say, oh, it's coincidence. It's coincidence. Yeah, it's coincidence that for like a year and a half, over and over and over again, they're showing up constantly wherever I am, blaring their sirens, even in places that are secluded, right? So... But it's coincidental. Again, you, that's why you can't get anywhere talking, attempting to talk to these people, like the police and the fire department. Now, in fairness, he, he was honest about uh, my point about Masons. I mean, there are a lot of them in the fire department, and he confirmed it. So he was honest about that. But when it comes to the, the things that they're actually doing, provably doing, they just, they just lie, right? Because they're not going to admit to any of it. This is just not random or coincidental. It happens all the time. They will bring a fire engine blaring as loud as possible um, just for the sake of the noise harassment. So it's important that people know that fire department resources are being completely wasted on this complete idiocy. And it's all being done to stalk someone who has done nothing wrong and who has no criminal record. As well, the uh, police department are participating in this stalking and harassment. And many of the members of this community, unfortunately, who have been lied to about me, are also uh, driving around stalking me and following me while I'm attempting to do my job.